Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we get a sail bag and a boom tent made, and Taj cuts all his hair off. Whoa! Look at this big boat. It's even bigger up close. Whoa! installed a new battery charger and where that lies either side of it is a solar regulator and an inverter and we have a leaky window so it's quite an expensive little bit of water damage if it was to get wet in that area so I've got some new acrylic windows and you can see how we go I've got two to put in just so that we don't damage our electrical equipment. Two windows, and how close are we to leaving cans? Oh, at least a week away, two weeks. Oh! <laughs> no, we got one more day. Nah, we might be a couple. One more day. One more. We're close. We're close. Come on, don't lie to the camera. Close. You need my help? Need lots of help. Okay. Working with sticky ickies and. Sticky ickies. Yeah. Alright, I'll be up there. Soon. This is our window. I'm going to replace this one here. Yeah. Okay, replace this window. And this window. And this is. This is our station we don't want water on. So. It's got all of that. My computer's charging. Oh my god! What's going on in here? There's a little commotion. What's going on, miss? What? What do you got there, Taj? Got my moolah. You got some moolah? That looks a little different to Aussie moolah. 
it's rupee moolah. You got some endo money. Kids went and exchanged some of their money that they've been saving and um, they're ready to go to Indonesia and buy things, hey? I've got... Oh, 100,087. 400... You guys are loaded! 452,000. Whoa. Are you going to buy all the things? Ooh. <laughs> hey. Hi there. We have no window. So, the window that has been removed obviously had a crack in it. It's pretty ratty. But I dare say by looking at it, it hasn't actually been primed. So we've actually got a special sicker primer, which I haven't used before, which is expensive, but apparently helps with the etching of it to acrylic, because acrylic has quite some expansion going on in the sun. Um, you definitely want a good bond. So we're going to try that and see how we go. Cool. Hopefully no leaks. Hi there. Hello. What's going on? Oh, I got the uh, the shitty end of the stick. <laughs> oh, he's giving me the great the job of scraping off um, all the silicon from around the windows. <laughs> Good footage. So, I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> he's wanted to get rid of me for a while. This is our windows before. He's just pulling it off. It comes off super easy. I just ran around the edge with a Stanley knife, just so it didn't peel back any paint. But yeah, you can see it hasn't adhered to the acrylic, so it hasn't, there's a good chance, I don't know 100%, but it hasn't been primed at all or properly. So hopefully we clean it all up prime our piece, take you for a wander over to our next window that we've half started on. Wind So this will be this one here, which will go on there. I've just left like a, an eighth there just to go around. I'll get a nice bead of sealant around there. Also left the backing on there with another eighth where we'll just do a nice bead around the inside and all this will be primed with an expensive primer and hopefully stick and not leak over our electronics. Do what we can do. Was many... that cleaned really nice under there? Look at it, is it all ready to go? Oh, I prepped all that. Yeah, it still needs a little bit of a tidy up, but it's pretty good. Do it yourself. I thought I did a good job. You did an amazing job. Oh yeah, just because the camera's on? Yeah. No, of course not. There's that boat that ran, nearly took us out last night. <laughs> it's just a, just a ship. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Time to get dirty. Time to get the windows on. We've been distracted. Yeah. We had a parcel arrive, we've had visitors. Two lots of visitors. Two lots of visitors. But we need to get it on before night time so we don't get wet in case it rains. So Tell everyone what you've done here. Oh look, you know, it's a bit of a quick job but we're just putting a new window quick in. Job. It's taken all day. Yeah, I know, but we've chatted <laughs> and we've been interrupted. And that's all good. <laughs> so got a bit of 3M tape there, it's more of a spacer, I just wanted to make sure I get a nice bead around there too, but it does stick really well too, people hold their windows in just with that tape alone. Um, I've put a primer over this, which was meant to be the Ridgy Ditch primer, which is a sicker primer, 209D, for acrylic, and yeah, away we go.
got one side done. It's losing light, but uh, I think we're gonna have a go at the other side. Oh look, you can see our reflection. Hi! <laughs> it's a shiny, shiny window. Uh, my window number two. I think we've videoed too much here. This is Cairns on the river. We're just anchored up down past the marina, so down into the river more. And all those boats up there are on pole moorings, where we were when we came in the first time. Hello. <laughs> Our friend Cam Oak teaches the kids to sail in his little Walker Bay boat. So it's Bella's turn. They're getting towed up because there's really strong current so they're getting taken pretty quick down the other way. And we meet some beautiful families that are also sailing towards Indonesia. protection slash security <laughs> we want to leave this hatch open and not wake up with somebody in our face I'd rather wake up with them rattling trying to break in <laughs> I'll just put a couple little clips on there from Bunnings this morning bang oh. get to your hatch do what you gotta do get back here and lock him up that's Job amazing done. and we're gonna have one on the companionway Ah, oh, just about. And one in the kids' room. That. But this one's finished. It's completo. And we've just... So we got our package the other day, but there was a, half of it was missing. So we got an email um, back saying that the rest of it should be here Monday. So... Oh, look at that one. Could be be tomorrow, though. Also. Oh, look at this one. Look like a house with all these screens. Security! <laughs> yeah, that of a night we know to get up. Yeah. But we also but, didn't have mozzie protection. Yeah, so, so we wanted some screens. That was a big part. For mozzies before we get to Asia. Hey, baby. Two down, one to go, kids' room. And then. You're amazing. We're good to go. You're a superstar. This is Kamali. What do you got? Uh, just some fuel. Electric diesel. We don't even get How's this, eh, hey, baby? Friday afternoon, what are you doing? Well, one of our friends came over with a couple of beers, so I thought I'd do the right thing and buy a kilo of mixed prawns from the uh, Prawn Star at the marina there in Cairns. Yeah, where we put our tender to go ashore, there's a, um, a trawler, so long. trawler converted into a restaurant, and it's really cool. We haven't had anything off it, but um, they got some prawns today and they're really fresh. So it's been like really a really good afternoon. It's a Friday. We've got our dive gear. We've got our new spear gear. Yeah. 
So all our Adreno dive spear, wetsuits and buoys and floats and guns. And, and that was our last that was the, having a beer. That was our last parcel. We've and been waiting for it Adreno. so we can leave and we've it's, done our provisioning. It's arrived! We're ready. The weather's I don't know, 15 to 20 is it? Yeah, it's real nice. Weather's it's around good. 15 to 20 for the next three, four days so far, so it's gonna be the outer reach for us and I'm so I'm excited. So itching to try this spear gear out. I'm so excited just to get in the water. It's I have, been I'm we haven't had fresh it. fish for nearly a month, which is just yeah, something wrong there. Yeah, we're we're all over uh, sitting in the river. But we've had to do this because this port, we still don't not hundred percent sure whether we will go from Thursday Island up to Indonesia or whether we will go Gove and then Darwin and then Indonesia. So if we don't actually go to Darwin, we I think we've done pretty well with our provisioning and what we need to get done on the boat so we're ready to roll. It's our last day here in Cairns and um, Lee's doing his final jobs. It's uh, what do you got going on? Well we couldn't really afford a sat phone that was out of the budget so the next best thing was to um, boost our internet so we have a little Telstra box which we're running. We've just unlocked that the other day, so we called up Telstra, it was $25, so now we will be able to, when we get to Indonesia, utilise whichever towers are close and the prepaid SIM card, so I put this aerial on, um, and that should boost our signal. Not a lot, but just, it helps, so especially uploading movies with the better signal, um, makes it a little bit quicker. Um, I've just yeah. found some of these U-bolts I had, um, I've just drilled another hole, so I've sort of modified this plate to fit onto our rail. And I'll put that on, screw that on, run our line back in. I was going to go up the mast with it, but I was told not to go past five metres of cable. So it's a catch-22. I could have went up and put it even on the spreader, which I probably would have needed another three, four metres. But they recommend not adding to five. So... I'll run with that, I'll put it on our davits at the back and we'll see how we go. Five metres, so I'm gonna try and come back through this loom here. I'm either gonna put it here or maybe out a bit further just to try not shade the solar panels. Every little bit of shadage makes a big difference, so. We'll put this camera down now and my assistant will help me. So we're pulling out of cans. Tender for the last time. We just went and shopped and got everything last minute, what we needed. Oh, How are you feeling, man. Captain? We're leaving. Yeah. When are you we ready? Are you ready? When are we leaving? In an hour. In an hour. Big Where's our first coming. destination? How many nautical miles is it? Don't care. Clear water. Wherever we get to, we can drop the anchor. Clear yeah. water, reef. Uh, so we're still in Cairns. We got our parcels that we were waiting on yesterday and where our plans were to head off today. But uh, Lee's talked me into tomorrow because we would have got out there pretty late to the reef and it's all uncharted waters again. So where we're going. So we're going to wake up early in the morning and head off then, which I can wait another day. It's a hard I guess. thing being a skip around here. There was a lot of peer pressure <laughs> wanting to get out there today. Yeah, we had to no, go to the good. markets this morning and the boat was not ready. We had a few wines last night with uh, some friends, so there was no early start. Thanks, Camo. Yes, that's our plan. We're heading off tomorrow at Sunday morning. Been in Cairns a month, it's time to leave and uh, we're ready though. We've done all our jobs and let's go. Top of Australia, Asia. We're about to wave bye to our friends from France. We're going to see them again because they're heading up to Indonesia, so... Uh, Anna and Emmanuel, and they've got three kids, and we've been hanging out with them a bit here in Cairns, and they're really lovely, so we're hoping we catch up with them in probably, hopefully, Lizard Island, so that'd be cool. <laughs> Bye, guys! Bye, guys! <laughs> so it's that last night in Cairns, and uh, they've set up some fireworks for us. <laughs> Just a little send off.
Seven, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to put a thumbs up or a comment down below. Join us next time as we li finally leave Cairns and we head out to the reef. See you next time. To say goodbye, say goodbye.